Paris Games is brand new at Euroanesthesia and we're taking problem-based learning and taking you into a fun play environment similar to an escape room. So you'll work through a case and the idea is to gather all the clues and all the information so that you can manage the case that we are going to be playing in that game if it were to land on you in your operating room. So they're going to be working with a team of people that they've probably never met before in a small group with a number of trainers who will be guiding them through the pathway. And after every individual game, there will be a debrief that will reinforce the learning points. So anesthesia is a team game. Whenever we come to an emergency, you can have a number of people all arriving at the same time, all want to gather the information. We need to quickly establish clarity of roles, who is the leader, who's designating tasks. And we call this crisis resource management, and this is another strategy that will be um, reinforced during the games. We've decided to focus on cases that can happen anywhere. So these are not specialized technical skills that you're going to be learning. So for this reason, we've chosen pediatrics, a bleeding tonsil case, and for obstetrics, a hemorrhaging obstetric patient. They are um, very, um, broad topics that many non-specialised anaesthesiologists will need to manage but we're certainly looking forward to future years where we might do either more specialised um, areas, for example cardiac. We'd be delighted to see anybody from trainee up to super specialised level and launching serious games at this year's Euro Anaesthesia is another example of the continuous educational innovation strategies that Euro Anaesthesia and ISAIC are um, supporting. And if you have an idea of a game that you think we should be um, an experience that you would like to have, we would love to hear from you.